No, there isn't. I mean, we're like three days away. We can, we've done all the talking. Um, whether you say it now, it doesn't matter. The emotions are going. It gets to a point where it's time to fight. I have no emotions. It's, it's, it's a different mindset. And like, you know, when you're going to fight, it's different, man. Do you know what I mean? So I get into a different mindset, um, knowing that I have a job to do. So the emotions are going. I'm getting more closed in, make the way, eat, chill out. And it'll be time to fight. So if I seem a bit moody or a bit off, it's because I know what I've got to do. No, it's real, do you know what I mean? I'm, we're both from London, but from similar areas, probably know similar people. So you want to wake up knowing that you're the one that won the fight that you had, do you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be somewhere and I'm like, yeah, I lost it. Nah, I'm here to win it, do you know what I mean? So it's a, literally I woke up and I was like, yep, yeah, nah, I don't feel like doing pads today. I think I'll just skip. And in fact, initially I said, I'm just going to skip and just call it a day. Then I was like, nah, let me do a bit of shadow boxing at least. So. I actually gave more than I wanted to, yeah, and that was it. Um, Look up the noise, the comments, and all of that. So it's, it wasn't hard to just like ignore someone from the crowd, probably from his team, saying, oh, do this and do that. You don't tell me what to do, do you know what I mean? Sure. So, man, and they say that the loudest man in the room is the weakest. So there's so, there's so many sayings, but I'm just myself, man. I'm very nonchalant about a lot of things, probably how it comes off. But when it's time to fight, it matters to me. So I show up, and that's the most important thing. Last time I started off with a compliment, remember that? And I, you said I caught you off guard. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, I was saying I like your technical style, innit? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, which I still do. Um, the, th the thing is, you don't realise how long people have been watching you as fans, um, commenting on your posts, watching your journey. Because I always used to comment the surgeon on your right. posts. I used to say, this is the sur That's, that was my nickname for you yeah. because you was accurate. Um, but yeah, sorry, apologies. October Red Boxing here with Joshua Boatsi. We have just had the press conference and I think a, a good word or a good sentence to describe that is less is more. There was not really much to say today. No, there isn't. I mean, we're like three days away. We can, we've done all the talking. Um, whether you say now, it doesn't matter because we're three days away. Do you know what I mean? The weigh is tomorrow, finals on Saturday. That focus, it's kind of like, I see you now, 100% into that fight mould. Everyone keeps on calling it the switch, but I'm going to say you're emerging into that wolf that I've described you as before, ready to go on the hunt. A couple of days away, how are the emotions, if any, how is that starting to adjust to like this, this mould we're in? Because I can feel it, 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 it's tense. Yeah, I think for me, uh, just uh, the emotions are going... It gets to a point where it's time to fight. I have no emotions. It's, it's, it's a different mindset. And, like, you know, when you're going to fight, it's different, man. Do you know what I mean? So I get into a different mindset, um, knowing that I have a job to do. So the emotions are going. I'm getting more closed in, make the way, eat, chill out, and it'll be time to fight. So if I seem a bit moody or a bit off, it's because I know what I've got to do. No, but I like it, though, because I'm getting to see, like I said, when I first saw, you know, the first, when the fight was announced yeah. and it was that press out, it was more, say, relaxed. Yeah. But as the week's gone on, I was here yesterday. You, honestly, you could literally start to slice this atmosphere with a knife. This is real. This, to me, and probably to some of the viewers, I know you can hear the excitement in the voice. To me, this is like a world champion belt fight. No, it's real. It's no, it's real. Do you know what I mean? I'm, we're both from London, but from similar areas, probably know so many people. So you want to wake up knowing that you're the one that won the fight that you had, do you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be somewhere and I'm like, yeah, I lost it. Nah, I'm here to win it, do you know what I mean? So it's important. And that's what I'm talking about. And that's where we can see the focus. There was a, a bit of a kerfuffle yesterday when you was doing the workout. Uh, we saw uh, Craig come in. You know, he was on the pads, uh, moving about. You came in, you decided to do some skipping and some shadow boxing. There were no pads with you. There was no coach in the ring. Talk to us a little bit about that and why you made that decision. Maybe, I'm not going to make the assumption. You tell us. You tell us why you did what you did. Literally, I woke up and I was like, yep, yeah, no, nah, I don't feel like doing pads today. I think I'll just skip. And in fact, initially, I said, I'm just going to skip and just call it a day. Then I was like, nah, let me do a bit of shadow boxing at least. So... I actually gave more than I wanted to, and that was it. Um, someone was like screaming, do pads, let's see what you got. And I said, that doesn't matter, because on Saturday we're going to see. And um, there was something going on in the crowd, but again, I was in the ring. After that, I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go.
And we talk about that that distraction, almost like people are trying to like distract you or like put words in your mouth, like, oh, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Almost like to gold you as a professional in this sport. And sometimes people like that are not in boxing. How do you maintain that control when somebody's trying to project almost like that negativity at you? How do you then like, I don't know, how do you sort of like bounce it back and say, not today? I think we all do it in life. Like people are, like for me, I always say, block out the noise, the comments and all of that. So it's, it wasn't hard to just like ignore someone from the crowd, probably from his team saying, oh, do this and do that. You don't tell me what to do. Do you know what I mean? So it's quite easy to do that. I think sometimes because you're quiet, you're reserved and you're very respectful, they usually say, don't take my kindness for weakness. Sometimes I get that with you because you don't give off any like macho energy. There's none of that with you. You're sort of like cool, calm, collected. But they always say that the emptiest pot make the loudest noise. Sure, man. And they say that the loudest man in the room is the weakest. So there's so, there's so many sayings, but I'm just myself, man. I'm very nonchalant about a lot of things probably how it comes off but when it's time to fight it matters to me so I show up and that's the most important thing and we talk about Virgil Hunter I was just speaking to you your, your two coaches part of the team I think they called it the coaching tree yeah we talk about that and how you merged in because I remember asking you why did you choose Virgil as your coach but speaking to your team now I get it you're all on that like that same like calm I only speak what's necessary. It's that kind of energy that I get from your team. Yeah, I saw that from the outside and I was like, let me go out there and find out what it's like. Um, and if one of the coaches are not there, there's no need to panic because everyone's teaching from the same book. So I'm cool with that. Do you know what I mean? And um, we think I like certain things and I'm learning, you know, a few things about life itself because they're all older than me. So um, it's just to learn. But main focus is Saturday night. I'm ready, I've had a hard camp and it's time to go. Yeah, I can imagine, well, I can't imagine. The heat, the heat would have done me alone, never mind anything else that you're doing. But you talk about Saturday night, you come through that. What is next for yourself? Because I'm gonna be one of these that's, that stands in and I, I just wanna see you do more because you're such a good fighter, a British fighter somebody that wasn't scared to step out of his comfort zone and go over to America and say, family, friends, I love you, but this is my life. This is what I want to do. And I've got to dedicate myself completely to it. Almost like a religion as such. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, that sacrifice I had to make um, and people have understood it. And those that didn't understand, they stepped to the side. Yeah. And that's cool. I lost friends, families it's from then. Yeah, it's one of those ones, do you know what I mean? But... Um, after this, of course, yes, I've said I want to fight for the world title, do you know what I mean? But I keep saying, and you, you can understand why when I say Saturday is what matters, let me get that out of the way first, and we could talk about anything else after that. So the next few days are very important to me. I know when the beard comes off, that is when I won't be approaching you. You might just get one eye looking at you for when you walk to the ring, but I ain't really going to be staring at you too tough that day. Listen, I know you're busy way in tomorrow etc etc i really appreciate the time that you've taken to speak with me today all the best on saturday and thank you for you and craig actually for giving us british fans the fight that we want this is what we want for sure I, and i always say i go to other fights and when it's a good dust up i'm like damn credit to these two they stepped in so in this term me and spider are getting in so it's, it's a good dust up for the british public Thank you so much for your time, Joshua. All the best, and I'll see you Saturday night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.